Hello children, welcome back to our class that is life processes. The new topic is transport in humans. You have already learned the structure and function of the heart by seeing the video. So now we have move on to the detailed study of transport in humans. The circulatory system of human beings consists of three parts that is blood components blood vessels and heart so blood vascular system actually what is the meaning of blood vascular system the circulatory system carries blood and dissolved substances to and from different parts in the body so the heart has the job of pumping these things around the body the heart pumps blood and substances around the body in tubes or blood vessels so the heart and blood vessels together make up the circulatory system blood vascular system these are the components the first one is the heart and second red color is the blood and down the vessels so here again vessels consist of three parts arteries veins and capillaries structure of the heart here it is the detailed study chambers are total four so here atria or atrium and also they are called as auricles that is two upper chambers and ventricles two lower chambers so they are thick walled and atrium is the thin walled and receives blood from atria pump blood out through the arteries that is from the ventricles septum wall that divides heart into right and left halves so this is the detailed study of function of the heart when the muscles of all the chambers of heart are relaxed the pulmonary vein brings the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart so when the left atrium contracts oxygenated blood pushes to the left ventricle when the left ventricle contracts oxygenated blood flows to the main artery called aorta the main artery then branches into small arteries which is known as a smaller capillaries the main artery carries the blood to all organs except lungs when the blood gets deoxygenated blood after giving oxygen to the cells and carbon dioxide is produced as a waste materials it enters into the vena cava it carries the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium fifth one is when right atrium contracts the blood is pushed into the right ventricle when the ventricle contracts the blood pumps to into the lungs to the pulmonary artery in the lungs deoxygenated blood releases co2 and absorbs fresh o2 from the air becoming oxygenated again then it is sent to the left atrium by these capillaries so like that two times blood will enters into the heart that's why it is called double circulation the interesting fact it is that the aorta the largest artery in the body is almost the diameter of a garden hose and capillaries on the other hand are so small that it takes 10 of them to equal the thickness of the human hair so this is the real aorta you can see the valves wall means holes the heart pumps the blood around the body so made up of cardiac muscles so that is four chambers to atrium to ventricle medium is the septum and oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so probably mix up how does this system works this is the planning of the work this is the procedure of heart working function and all here it is by seeing this we can explain in detail this is the animals which do not use energy to maintain their body temperature their body temperature depends on the temperature in the environment such animals for example amphibians are many reptiles they have three chambered heart and bear some mixing of the de- deoxygenated blood and also oxygenated blood streams fishes on the other hand have only two chambered heart to their hearts and however the blood is pumped to the gills and get oxygenated there and then passes directly to the rest of the body blood pressure the force that blood exert against the wall of a vessel is known as blood pressure the blood pressure is much greater in arteries than in veins 
during the ventricular systole that is called contraction the pressure of blood inside the artery is known as systolic pressure on the other hand the pressure in artery during ventricular diastole diastole means relaxation is known as diastolic pressure the normal measurement of systolic pressure is about 120 mm of mercury and diastolic pressure is 80 mm of mercury and increase of this pressure is known as high blood pressure or hypertension means high blood the instrument that measures the blood pressure is known as sigmometer. So, blood pressure BP is measured by using the instrument which is known as sigmometer. Function of the blood vessels. Here, the blood vessels indicates the differentiation by the function. After this transport saturated blood and the veins transport deoxygenated blood and capillaries allow exchange of substances between blood and tissue. Structure Arteries is thick walled, veins are thin walled, and capillaries very thin. And their arteries, are walls, or holes are absent. In veins, walls are present. Capillaries, walls are absent. Blood The circulating connective tissue consists of several types of cells suspended in a fluid medium that is known as plasma. This is yellowish color it is there no that is known as plasma what is inside the blood the blood consists of digested food white blood cells red blood cells waste materials oxygen carbon dioxide plasma hormones and also platelets so what present in your body in blood that is 80 percent of blood it is how much blood do we contain on average four to six liters contain about eight uh, again and uh, blood of every 15 pounds of body weight so composition of blood is 45 percent plasma and 55 percent is water blood here it is the blood pressure that is red blood cells hemoglobin makes red blood cells in red so the how are this is transport oxygen hemoglobin the iron containing pigment so by this that's why our blood is red in color because of presence of hemoglobin here it is the platelets are bits of cells broken off larger cells platelets produce tiny fibrinogen fibers to form a net this net traps other blood cells to form blood clot during by injuries blood will clot by using platelets okay thank you children you learned the detailed study of function and structure of heart let us know by the next topic until then